Four Olympic and World Champion Gymnasts formally asked Congress on Wednesday to dissolve the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee's Board of Directors, saying the organization ignored sexual abuse for decades and failed to take the necessary steps to eradicate a culture of abuse within American O. In a letter to Senator Richard Blumenthal, Democrat Connecticut, and Senator Jerry Moran, Republican Kansas, Olympic champion Simone Biles, Michaela Maroney and Allie Raisman and world champion Maggie Nichols called on Congress to pass a joint resolution November 1st to dissolve the USOC board under the landmark Empowering Ali. Blumenthal and Moran are co-authors of the legislation, which places greater illegal liability on the USOC and the national governing bodies under its umbrella for sexual abuses by coaches, officials and employees. It also provides Congress with mechanisms to dissolve the USOC Board of Directors and decertify NGBs. We believe it is time for Congress to exercise its authority over the organization it created by replacing the entire USOC board with leadership willing and able to do what should have been done. The letter comes in anticipation of action in the Senate to place the USOC board under greater scrutiny and even move to dissolve the board entirely. We're grateful to these athletes for their continued demand for justice and accountability, a goal we share, Blumenthal and Moran said in a joint. We look forward to continuing our work together to ensure that USOC is held responsible for past failures. Our bill gave Congress the power to dissolve USOC and individual sports governing bodies in response to clear evidence that these institutions were not always capable of holding themselves. This oversight mechanism requires that Congress develop procedures to appoint a new board before dissolving the old one, and must be approved by the House and Senate before being signed by the President. The letter also follows gripping testimony by the four women last month before the Senate Judiciary Committee. In sacrificing my childhood for the chance to compete for the United States, I am haunted by the fact that even after I reported my abuse, so many women and girls had to suffer at the haunt.